Hey everybody, and today I have a flying machine to show you. It's this one right over here. And if I just remove all this obsidian, we have a standard uh, observer flying machine. We have a modified flying machine that I invented. And then we also have this flying machine, which is a modification of this one. And this one here travels at three blocks per second. This is the the one that I invented here, uh, as well as this one. I'm going to only launch those two. And they look to be about the same speed. But in reality, that one right there is slightly faster. As you can see, it's kind of pulling ahead. Uh, slight improvement to this one because I'm just gonna stop this so I can demonstrate uh, this piston right here uh, gets uh, zero tick powered by that redstone block like that which pushes this forward and then it pulls itself along uh, but it only has one piston that zero ticks and this one right over here is much more complicated because we need to zero tick forwards but then also do a zero tick retraction to pull itself along and I'm going to launch all of these at once now uh, sorry about that uh, yeah guess what obsidian <laughs> forgot to remove it again so let's just remove this. All right, let's try this again. So here we go. Yeah, you can see it's a lot faster. It's like instantly flying ahead of everything. It is the fastest flying machine you could possibly get. Like, look how crazy this is. So it's zero tick extends and zero tick retracts and it travels at three blocks per second. And so this 100 block travel it. 30 seconds. That's all it takes. Uh, exactly 30 seconds. <laughs> um, yeah. Because it's pretty fast. Because if I just demonstrate kind of what happens here. Um, I'm just going to slide that along so we don't have problems with so, um, so first things what happens is, power this one more time, when we place the redstone block here, it will power both of these, and boom, uh, it pushes it forwards, so let's stop it again, so it zero ticks it forward, and then this setup here will zero tick, pull it back, but also push this redstone block forward in order to move the power source along with it. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to build this zero tick flying machine. So you want to start off with a regular piston with another piston facing upwards on top of it and two slam blocks like that and a slam block like that. And this is where your, your redstone block will go right there but that would instantly power it. So just leave it like that for now and place a sticky piston right there regular piston like that and slime blocks right there make sure to place that if it breaks and you also want to have a piston right here a piston right here and go out by one and then like that the rest of the block right there and that is everything if you want to start it Place the redstone block right there, and if you want to stop it, obsidian. So uh, it can only travel in one direction; can't go backwards as well. Uh, if it stops and you want to start it again, all you have to do is replace this and put it back. Uh, no, if you want to start it, 
you need to make sure that it looks like this. Uh, and then you can start it again. So, that is how to build it. Uh, I'm, I don't know if this has been invented already. It probably has been. But I built this, uh, just for clarification, I built this without any inspiration from anything. I just thought to myself, hmm, yeah, I wonder if you could use zero ticks to build a flying machine that was really fast. And, you know, I thought about it for a while, and then I eventually designed this thing, and yeah, zero inspiration. So if this already exists, uh, great, that means I'm not the first one. So yeah, this is what I have.